Yo, welcome back to another video and today we've got another Soyo branded GPU and we've got a 5700 XT in there. I paid about £90 for it after discounts from AliExpress. So what I'm going to do is unbox it and do a few tests and see if it was actually worth the £90. So yeah, let's get straight into it. And today we've got a Soyo 5700 XT. So yeah, let's get it out the box. So what I plan to do in this video is um, obviously do the unboxing and hopefully do some performance test, some light performance test and also look at the temperatures, nothing too intense, um, just a quick one just to see how well or how badly it does, um, obviously it's 5700 XT so um, nothing much to look at, just see really how well um, the temperatures hold up. But yeah, two fan um, on the side, we've got three display ports and one HDMI. It's got the caps on it. Doesn't look like as if it's been used because um, there's no um, indentation in there, meaning that this might be a new card or they've changed the IO shield. Um, you never know. And it's got the cover for the PCIe bit. Um, I can't tell if it's been used. There's no scratch marks that I can tell. It looks new. Um, so yeah, the back says 5700 XT. Let's put this cover back on. And it's got this black plate on it. And the board itself is actually white. So it's a bit of a weird, <laughs> weird combination. Um, so I'm guessing this is a Frankenstein build. I don't know what kind of model this is, to be honest. So I think it is a Frankenstein build. They've got a board from somewhere else, probably a cooler from somewhere else, and a case from somewhere, and just put it all together. Um, so this is the cooler, um, the heatsink, sorry. You've got the heat pipes through there. And on this side, you can't really see anything because of the cover, but it's got an 8 pin and 6 pin. Done some reviews. I checked the reviews on AliExpress and apparently it runs hot. So we'll do our own testing and see. Um, but yeah, I don't have any doubt against those reviews. But yeah, we'll test it and um, we'll see what it looks like in the computer. But yeah, there you go. This is kind of an unboxing first. So yeah, let's look at the temps and performance really. Right, so I tested the first benchmark on TimeSpy and we got a result of 8,882, which seems a little bit low. And this is because Soyo restricted the power limit to 150 watts. Um, I think they've done that to reduce the temperatures because there's been a lot of reviews where the uh, reviewers were saying the temperatures were a little bit hot. So I think they've done that to reduce it. But anyway, that affected the score a little bit. And then I've done a Fermark bench test and we got um, 8,975 on 1080p. Um, and the temperature you can see at the core was 62 and hotspot 78 degrees. Um, to compare that to another 5700 XT, I found someone else with a score of 9,158. So it isn't that bad. But what I'd done then was i done another benchmark on Fermark but I increased it with a 20% limit. So we got another 30 watts, taking up 280 watts of power. And the score did increase to 9,256. And you can see the temperature is now rising. The core is 70 degrees and the hotspot is 92 degrees. Um, these cards can go up to 225 watts, but I didn't try it because I knew it's going to start burning up. Um, so I left it as it is. This is still a very respectable score. Um, and then what I'd done was I'd done a stress test, um, 10 minute stress test, just to see what kind of temperatures we get. Again, with the 180 watt limit and the hotspot went up to 94 degrees, which isn't too bad. I mean, it is bad, but for 5700 XT, this is normal. Um, I had other cards that went up to 100 degrees and I had to undervolt it. So 94 degrees on the hotspot mm, is all right. And then just a quick bench test on a game. I used Far Cry 6 and as you can see 1440p. I know it's an older game, um, but it um, average score was 79 FPS. So 1440p 
79 um, FPS average and the graphics quality was ultra so easily you can cap it to 60 and with this card you can play 50, uh, 1440p on older games obviously with newer games probably won't be able to do that but yeah anyway that was a quick um, quick bench test on this Soyo 5700 XT uh, I just want to keep it short um, because I've done a lot of testing on 5700 XTs already just want to look at the temperatures and just quick performance um, so yeah if you guys have any questions write them down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace